my channel welcome back to a brand new video new week here on my channel i am filming on a monday and listen silence there are no builders in today so i thought i would take the opportunity with having a quiet house to um show you guys some bits i've ordered from h and i'm going to do a bit of a try on hence why i'm stood up today and i'm going to try and fire through them keep it nice and quick and simple i'll link everything in the description box below and then a vlog style content is coming on sunday i've been filming a bit today and it i filmed over the weekend we had a nice adventure family trip away and yeah vlogged all that for you also have some amazon bits and house updates as well in that video. And stay tuned by subscribing if you haven't already. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. Blows my mind, but yeah, if we get to that, everything that I ever dreamed of for my YouTube channel, so that would be amazing. Let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Okay, oh yes, I forgot about these. So a lot of these things are sale things as well, sale finds, and I remember these were literally like three quid. Um, so I ordered a, a few of them, but they are these little vest things that are essentially like a fake, well it looks like a fake jumper, so if you layer this up under like a blazer or a jacket done up, it looks like you're wearing a full on knit when actually it's just a collar, do they call it? So I got this one in this charcoal colour, again it was either three or four pounds. And I also got this one which is black and this one's a bit longer, so this one is more of like a full body one but obviously it is just open here on the sides. It's a really nice way to be able to not be, you know if you've got like a nice coat that has thinner arms, thinner sleeves that you can't fit a full knit underneath but you want that look. I've also got this color. I mean, I hope I like these because if I do, I've got all the colors. So I've got this one. This one's similar to the black one in that it is longer. And yeah, you can see it a little bit better there with it not being black. So I've got this camel colored one. And then I think this is the last one that I got. This one was cream with a gold zip. And online, that gold looked very, very yellow. But actually in person, it's far more like under. It's not like, whoa, yellow gold. It's just nice. So yeah, that is the cream one. Speaking of chunky knit items, I did also pick up this beanie. I do have a cream beanie that is probably due a switch up, I'm not gonna lie, it's been washed that many times, because obviously, as you can imagine, makeup and cream don't go well together. It's been washed that many times that I just wanted a fresh new one. I feel like they're very simple, and that's kind of what I like in a beanie. So yeah, got that. So this was only the bargain price of three pounds. I did get this as like a little sports bra. I didn't see any matching leggings, but it's kind of like a sports top slash sports bra, this one. I got it in a large and it does have removable cups, but it's this gorgeous cream color. I really, really like it. I love H&M for their basics. I had a huge clear out, wardrobe clear out recently. So I've just been slowly but surely getting a few things to add into my wardrobe, but very much capsule pieces that are just Classic, simple, mix and match, items that won't date, and some good basics. I feel like H&M is a good place to shop for those. So I just got this um, from Divided, this oversized tee. This is oversized, it's in a small, and it's nice and boxy, so I got that. Feels lovely, actually. And this t-shirt was only 6 99 so again, really affordable if you wanted to even get a few. They're at a good price as well. These boots, they're in what they cast as greyish, so like, but I would say quite a dark grip. <laughs> Myself in the face with them. They're that chunky. They're like a really dark, kind of muddy greyish. Love them. They do kind of look a bit welly like though, don't they? But there's nothing wrong with that. It can still be a boot to wear. It doesn't have to be a fashion boot that you style up. It could just be a boot that you wear on walks. But um, 17 quid these were, so I figured I couldn't really resist. They had loads of colors, loads of sizes still available when I looked. I got a 40, and let me just try it on quickly for size reference, just so you know. So I'd say like I'm a six and a half to a seven, and a 40 is, is about right. If I just move the camera down. You can see what they're like on, that's the height that they are. And they're, they're really comfy actually. Okay, next up I got a pair of, again, thinking capsule pieces here for in my wardrobe. I really rate the H&M trousers, the like kind of smarter style trousers. And these ones are just a plain and simple black wide leg. They've got a slight elasticated bit on the back. So I've got these ones in a 10. They are 
I'd say a good length for me to be able to wear with flats as well if I wanted to. They're not too long, which is good because there's nothing worse when your trousers drag along the floor. And I am five foot five, five foot six for reference. These were $24.99, which I think for a good staple pair of wide leg black trousers. Good capsule wardrobe item. Happy with that. Again, another capsule piece that I just think is an absolute essential is some kind of knit jumper now this one they've got in different colors that always seem to sell out and they had this new color arrive which i had to pick up and it's this light kind of grayish color and it's just that same kind of high neck style jumper that h&m have been doing and everyone has been loving i think everyone loves them so much is because they're so they're like thick and weighty but they're not at all itchy which is a big thing in my in my eyes anything itchy is just a no-go for me um, it's also a nice length. What size did I get? I got this one in a medium. So they're priced at $34.99, but I think that is such a good price for such a staple item in your wardrobe. This is something that I wasn't sure if I bought before or not, um, because it was quite a similar to one, but no, it's not. This one does feel a lot softer. So this one has um, cashmere. This is like the complete other end. You know H&M have quite a lot of like affordable basics, then they've got the premium, like Luxe cashmere blend. This being one of them. So this one was £119. So it is Benny for H&M. It's in a medium and it's a wool cashmere blend. So for wool cashmere, this is very soft because I was a bit worried that the wool in there would make it itchy, but it doesn't. I do actually really like this. I'm going to be like torn. Is it worth the 120 quid from the premium selection? We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. I do really like it though. I feel like it's giving me white company vibes, their clothing, and that's about the same sort of price that they would charge. Next up, I've got this twill blazer in a medium, and it is a gorgeous, like, neutral shade, which again, very timeless, one that you can mix and match with all sorts, and it's a good length as well. It's kind of like, because it's quite thick, it's almost less of a blazer, more of a coat. I got it in a medium, it was $49.99, which essentially for a coat, for a smart coat, is really good. Next up I got this knitted dress in a medium. This one was $49.99 as well, and I thought again, a great staple piece to have. It's quite a loose fit, even the sleeves are very wide, so it's kind of like forgiving, if, if you know what I mean. And it's a really gorgeous fabric. Can you see, it's kind of like a toweling type knit that just, I don't know, just looks really expensive. Looks very different to anything I already own. And it's a good length as well. There's a little slit at the bottom, where I say little, it goes up to like your thigh. So you could wear like tights with it to keep warm, even leggings and boots. Next up, I got this oversized shacket, it's called. And I got it in a medium. This was in the sale, 13 pounds this one was. So again, a great bargain. Oh, it's kind of like a greeny tone to it, this one. If you can compare it to like the gray that I'm wearing or the beige from the previous dress. Can you see it's got like a green tone to it? I quite like that. I'm liking my greens. I feel like a nice cream hoodie underneath this or jumper would layer up really nicely. And again, leggings and boots, even leather leggings for a bit of a dressier look. But just a good jacket for 13 pounds. Bargain. So I couldn't resist this one. I do love a good sale shop. This one's a very wintry item. I don't know if this it would class as like a capsule piece, to be honest with you. But I, I just can picture myself wearing this in Finland for a little snowy getaway. I've got one other jumper a bit like this as well. But this one was, this one's nicer. I'm not gonna lie. This one is lovely. And it's got this kind of like, wintry pattern along the bottom it's in a large this one and it was only 15 pounds so again even layer up with a nice long sleeve or even a roll neck a turtleneck in the winter winter or for a snowy getaway i feel like this one is going to be a staple for me in finland with my leggings probably two pairs of leggings moon boots earmuffs mittens Oh, I can't wait. It's kind of like a charcoal-y black as well. It's not like a jet jet black. Really like that. Again, good for their staples. I ordered a tracksuit or like a jogger hoodie set in this because I wanted a matching set 
in this beige colour. However, the joggers didn't arrive and I noticed that they'd sold out and they'd gone out of stock. So I am going to see if they have the stock come back in in my size for this set. Otherwise, there's no point, I feel like, in keeping just a hoodie. It is nice, but I wanted a set. But yeah, again, their basics for hoodies, joggers are really, really good. Just need my size. This hoodie I did go for in a medium, 20% recycled cotton, 40% recycled polyester. This one was $19.99. And then last but not least, I ordered a satin midi skirt. Again, like looking at different styling and different outfit ideas, capsule pieces. I always think a good satin slip skirt would work really well to kind of wear comfy with with trainers but also to dress up just quite versatile really and um, so i got this one in a 10 and it's got like a hidden zip on the side and yeah it is plain and simple quite long actually i would say this one's more of like a mid axi and there's no split either which is what i wanted i wanted to be able to have one that I can have like boots underneath, even tights if it's cold, and then just put like a nice crew neck knit to go with it to kind of, I don't know, it looks a really nice styled outfit, but it's also quite comfy, because like I always say, for me, comfort is key, and sometimes I feel like I get in a bit of a rut with just wearing the same comfort things, i.e. leggings and an evening hoodie and some trainers or Uggs, but to just switch it up a little bit with this, just to feel a bit more put together, um, I think we'll add a nice addition into my wardrobe. So that is everything that I picked up from H&M. Hope you guys have enjoyed this quick speedy haul, or I try to be speedy anyway, hopefully I did. Um, I didn't get any home items this time, although I am thinking about going to the Trafford Centre soon and they have a big H&M home section in there. So I will be sure to vlog it if you guys are interested and wanna see what's in the home section. Um, next time I'm there, I will do that. And yeah, that should be in a video coming very soon. So thank you so, so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know which was your favorite item and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.